Welcome to the History of Denver Academy. The Academy is a pretty special place, and it is made special because of all of the people who have added to the history of the school. This includes board members, parents, staff, teachers, and students, but most of all, the students. Fifty years ago, in 1972, Dr. Paul Knott saw the need for helping kids with learning differences. He was a professor of psychology at the University of Denver. Hi, I'm Sandy Ryder, and um, I taught at Denver Academy for 30, probably 30 plus years. My association began with the psychology department at University of Denver, and I worked as a secretary in the psychology department. I remember Paul Knott and Sasha talking about a grant that they had through the government. Now, because most public schools back then could not adequately deal or address the needs of certain students, and this was before any legislation required them to, Dr. Knott opened up an office space to establish a tutoring clinic to help kids. And we just found out that we had a, a lot of kids who were so turned off from learning, but they were, they were bright and they were creative, and most of them really wanted to learn unless they were too shut down. It became obvious that school was making them miserable, having to go to the same place every day and face failure. And so then the idea hatched of maybe we could actually start a school. Business was so good, by 1974, Dr. Knott had to lease classroom space from St. Francis de Sales, which was an old Catholic school on South Sherman Street. Dr. Knott became executive director of the Denver Academy. We were beginning to change into a school. In the 73-74 school year, the actual school did start, and Paul had recruited some teachers from the East Coast, from Virginia. And again, it was, it was Sasha and Paul and a man called Harry Townsend who came from back east, and Harry brought with him Steve Tatum. And so they came on board and made this plan to start a school. We started the year off with 70 students, and it took several years for us to develop the program that was going to fit the needs of these students. During that time, we were learning on the job. And when we would find something that we felt was gonna fit for a child, we would share it with one of the other teachers. So we built the program based on how well and how, how successful we were being with all the different students. My name is Dan Lone, and I've had the distinct honor and privilege to hold several different positions at Denver Academy over a 41 year career. And I was the first intern they hired back in 1978. I was 23 years old and green coming right out of school. And that internship was very pivotal in my success and my ability to, to stay at Denver Academy as long as I have. By the early 1980s, Denver Academy needed more room. We found the room at 1101 South Ray Street. This was the old Washington Park Elementary School building. And it was a big old building that included an athletic field. We now had a home. Experiential education in the spring was popular with all of the kids. A gym was built and our sports program took off. We had an art program and even a little theater for the beginnings of the drama department. IT and computers were in the not too distant future. Jim and Steve became associate directors and they were building a program that would prove very successful. Small class size and teaching kids how they learn best became the hallmark of the Denver Academy program. As we became more sophisticated, we were then able to deal with the kids in a more sophisticated way. Well, how do you learn? And at the end of the day, it's the best way that you learn is how we're gonna teach you. And so it seems so simple, which it is, um, but it's hard to do. <laughs> In the early 1990s, the school went through severe growing pains. In 1992, Paul Knott resigned. The small board quit. Jim Lone became headmaster of the Denver Academy and a new board was formed. 
And we began to move forward and we continued to grow. Uh, my name is Mark Torgowski. I am the head of school at Denver Academy. I started at Denver Academy in 1987 when I was just uh, 24 years old. Hi, I'm Lori Hall, head of lower school. Yes, I um, started in 1984, so that's, uh, I'm in my 37th year. So, um, Amy Torgowski, actually formerly Amy Breeden, and uh, I taught at Denver Academy from 1987 to 2000, and then in 2000 to 2008, I was working with the program department, helping uh, teachers, uh, I guess, teacher training. I started at DA in the late 80s, sometime, I think, 89, something like that. I started at Denver Academy back in 1990. I was a teaching assistant and um, loved what I got to experience being at Denver Academy in the classroom. Yeah, so when I first got to Denver Academy, it was a Steve Tatum and, and, and Jim Lone and Sandy Ryder, and it was a very rigorous back then, um, you know, I think four or five weeks. I can't remember the exact amount, but it was very intense. And uh, we did five weeks of training back then, and it was intense. It was, you know, from eight to five. Uh, and uh, I thought grad school was hard. The training was intense. I probably learned more in that five weeks than I did in all of grad school. All of us T1s, they call us, uh, first year teachers, um, were trained by Steve Tatum. Um, not only what to teach, but more importantly, how to teach. You just end up learning a lot about the culture of the school, how to be the best teacher you can be um, at Denver Academy, and you just kind of pull together and become a really tight-knit group. As the school neared the millennium, guess what? We needed more room. The once huge Ray Street property became very small with all of the kids we had. We took over the old Bethesda property. Wow, 22 acres. We built our own ball field and high school building. We got a welding studio and music program. The IT department is unbelievable. We were very interested in having, um, I guess, a, a anytime, anywhere learning type of a program. So essentially the kids could always be uh, on the, uh, the internet and connected. We have a quad for the kids to walk about. We have a little library. We are always moving forward. We recently built a gym and we are now planning on building a performing arts complex. We are still helping kids, and that's why this gala is so important. It really helps all of the kids. All of the proceeds from this gala help with tuition assistance. Thank you. As you can imagine, Denver Academy in 2022 has a 22-acre campus, 14 buildings, over 400 students, over 100 employees. And so there are many opportunities to support that financially. What do our kids need to succeed? What are those things they're passionate about? Are there a student where sports is the most important thing to them? Or are they a very passionate actor that wants to be on stage? Maxine, my youngest, was in a play, unbelievable in this play, and it they allowed her to um, just really shine. And that was something I had not seen, that, that glow in the face. When students come back to Denver Academy, they may not remember the book that they read or the, the calculus they learned, but what they're gonna remember is they're gonna remember the person that taught them. I can't help but think of uh, like Clifford Still. The artist wrote, uh, it is intolerable to be stopped by the edge of the frame. And uh, I think we push the frame every day. I think part of the, the things uh, that are so gratifying of working at Denver Academy over the years is every year, all the teachers have students that have left to come back and say hi. The, the truth is the core of Denver Academy and the core programs that have been around since 1972 that still remains at Denver Academy, and I, I'm very proud to have built upon that legacy. 
This is the story of Denver Academy. Your commitment and generosity makes all of this possible. Look at how far we've come and imagine what's next. So with, that, with all that being said, Denver Academy, uh, happy 50th birthday and here's to 50 more. And I know we're at the 50th anniversary and I'm wishing Denver Academy as a whole, all the people that are there now, a happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, Denver Academy. I am honored to wish Denver Academy a happy 50th birthday. Happy anniversary, DA. Happy 50th birthday, Denver Academy. Happy birthday, Denver Academy. 50 years, you don't look a day over 21. Hey, happy anniversary, Denver Academy. Well, happy birthday, Denver Academy, 50 years, it's fantastic. I've spent much of my adult life here. I'm looking forward to many, many more years. Denver Academy, happy 50th anniversary. It's been great growing up with you and learning with you. Let's do it for another 50, and as they say in Belgium, blot of brass. I'll drink either one with you, so cheers.